crank that volume, turn it way up. Get your weapon, get your blade up. Damn, damn, it's then you gon' pay up. Yo, 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 yo. yo crank that volume, turn it way up. Get your weapon, get your blade up. Damn, damn, it's then you gon' pay up. Yo, 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 yo. yo crank that volume, turn it way up. Get your weapon, get your blade up. Damn, damn, it's then you gon' pay up. Yo, 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 yo. yo crank that volume, turn it way up. Turn it way up. Hey guys, this is Kelly with Kelly's Reaction. So everyone's doing great today. We're going to be doing another Sabaton because last week's one that I posted, yes, I flubbed up the country or the name or what have you. It's I'm human. I get excited about things. I love history. So my apologies that I flubbed, but I own up to it. Please be respectful. I know some, most of you were. Um... So this one is actually called the Red Baron. And so I, when I heard this song and then about the German fighter pilot, I'm like, is this like that? I know it's going to sound silly maybe, but didn't, isn't there a Christmas song called the Red Baron? And it was regarding the German fighter pilot and stuff like that. Um, or maybe it's just kind of like, it deterred and it wasn't a true song or whatever anyway but this is about Manfred von Richthofen I had to listen to it numerous times to make sure I was going to say it right Richthofen a German fighter pilot and World War One hero Manfred was a German fighter pilot in World War One who also is known for his bright red Fokker triplane Hopefully I'm saying that right, too. He was a skilled leader and mentor who was feared by his enemies and was a symbol of the mechanization, mechanization of modern war, but also a romanticized version of war. He was killed by a single bullet in 1918. Wow, I just love history stuff. And granted, we're never going to get pronunciations always correct hopefully i was close with most of these i had to kind of google a few pronunciations but i was also when i was doing my search i came across a place in colorado they named a castle a place and a parkway after him um so i'm not sure if it's the same person or what have you but please put in the comments if i'm going in the right direction but it was just really strange how that came up on my phone after I had did a search on this and everything. But so we are going to be doing it. Um, it came out in 2019. Um, this was also suggested um, in my list there, but I didn't have um, a person's name. Let me see if I can find it real quick. All right. So I did find the person who suggested it. And I'm hopefully I'm saying your name right as well. But it's Najro. Um, N-A-J-R-O-E, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for suggesting it. I, I love this history stuff, especially true stuff, you know, and if I have to learn it through music, awesome. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, let's see. It's January 1917, and in an airfield, a young pilot is directing men to paint his albatross fighter. Other pilots look on in awe. This young pilot with 16 victories to his name is the new commander of Yasta 11. It contains many elite and legendary pilots, but none can compare to this young man stood bolt upright. He knows he is better than anyone else out there. The work is done. The plane stands in all its scarlet Teutonic glory. The pilot is Manfred von Richthofen, and on this day, the day he chose to paint his plane bright red, it is the birth of a new name, a legendary name that will never die, the Red Baron. Success after success came to Yaster 11 under the Red Baron's tutelage. 
Richthofen had been a student of a genius aviation tactician named Oswald Bolke. Bolke's dictates were the essential rules for successful air combat. Richthofen embraced them, taught them, and enhanced them. How can I be like you? Aim for the man, and don't miss him. He urged his men to fight on and fly on to the last drop of blood and the last drop of fuel to the last beat of the heart. Richthofen and his Yaster 11 would become the nemesis of the Royal Flying Corps. The Yaster 11 in the heavens would seem like gods or demons to those on the ground. Stuck in the mud and the trenches, seeing the red whirling beast spitting fire overhead, the Germans whispered his name in awe. Der Rote Kampfflieger. The Allies whispered it in equal fear and awe. The Red Baron. But there was one thing that all sides agreed upon. He was the king of the sky. I just love these, like the intro, the storyline, and then it kicks right into the music and then how they want to interpret the storyline in their music. It is amazing. I love these animated story videos. I just do. I love them. I'm, I've only seen like one and a half songs so far and I'm sold. <laughs> this is amazing. And I love their sound, the drums and how the intensity from the drums and when you see the video of the story it's like the music and the story together combined just as this like thrilling moment it's just like oh the goose pimples i love history i just love it you know i just love the sound and how it incorporates everything incorporates everything together and it fits so well in a story like this let's continue i'm gonna go back just a little bit <laughs>
His injuries caused him repeated issues, with headaches and nausea. He also suffered a change in mood and temperament, which became darker. The thrill of combat lessened. He wrote, I am in wretched spirits after every aerial combat. I believe that the war is not as the people at home might imagine it, with a hurrah and a roar. It's very serious, very grim. On April the 21st, 1918, the Red Baron got into his famous Fokker triplane and took off into the morning sky. It was the flight that would bring his life to an end. He spotted a Sopwith camel and gave chase. This time, it seems, he may not have realized he was behind enemy lines while chasing the Sopwith at a very low altitude. At the time, due to wind conditions and the moving of the front lines, he uncharacteristically continued the chase too far. In the last moments of his life, he managed to make a rough landing in a field north of the village of vaux sur seine Several Australian servicemen rushed up to the downed triplane to hear the Red Baron's last words. Kaput. The king of the sky was dead, but his legend would never die. The Red Baron was treated with great respect and was interred with full military honours by the personnel of No. 3 Squadron, Australian Flying Corps. Allied squadrons stationed nearby came to pay their respects. Memorial wreaths were laid, one of which was inscribed with the words, To our gallant and worthy foe. Oh my goodness. I just love these kind of these why hasn't no one told me about Sabaton sooner? You know, I love these animated stories and I've got goose pimples. It's like wow. So mind blowing. It is. I'm just astonished by this group. Making animated stories with true history facts. Putting them together, the music emphasizes the story, the story emphasizes the music. I just love it. Um, I just love, I can't say it enough, the sound is amazing. They accompany each other. Well, I don't even know if I want to watch any of their videos any other way. I just love these animated visual stories. But though, I got a detour and see, you know, maybe um, a live or video of just the group itself. So that I can put that on one side and this anime story on the other side and combine them together and how they interact. But I enjoyed this. I'm again my apologies for flubbing up the country in the last video. I just got so excited. I'm reading fast and it just came out. And but we paid attention. We looked up the announcements for this one. So thank you so much for the suggestion. There's so much to learn and you know, trying to listen to some of these interpret, you know names it's i'm so sorry it's like but you know you know what i'm talking about the majority of you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i did i loved it i can't wait to do more so keep them coming um thank you again for suggesting it uh najro n-a-j-r-o-e hopefully i'm saying that correctly oh <sighs> So anyway, please subscribe. Please like and comment down below. If you have a song you want me to react to, please put in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Don't forget that notification bell. I'll let you know when I post my next video. Have an amazing day, guys. Keep them coming. You guys are appreciated. So have a great day.